Welcome to ASMR. Tonight we're going to focus on reflection and the past two videos in my reflection series. I've covered positive goal setting and synchronicity. Now, I think another topic that aligns quite well with this is the hero's journey. I've been into Joseph Campbell's book The Hero with a Thousand Faces which covers this hero's journey that gets retold in many myths and many legends and just just about every story with a character arc and it is not only for stories, the, the reason why it gets told in so many forms is because it is really about human development. And so, for this video, I just wanted to go over the hero's journey, what it is, and what it means to you in your development as a person. Now, the first part of the hero's journey is the call to action. Now, what does that mean? It means that you become aware of something that you previously were not and maybe you decide not to do something at the time and it makes you feel uneasy and you start to think about why you did what you did so they also call that the refusal of the call so the call to adventure is the first step so the real question there is what's really bugging you right now what's bugging you that might be your call to adventure right there. Next, if you choose to accept this call to adventure, you will find maybe a mentor or some form for you to start off on this journey. You have known what you are comfortable with and now that you are aware of this, this issue with something that has come up, with something that's bugging you, you are aware that there is an unknown part of yourself or of a field of knowledge or an, and they call it the unknown world so setting off into the unknown you might find a mentor or something to help you on your journey and then you cross a threshold into your challenges through tri trials and you get tried you get challenged further and you find help along the way as needed it arises for you perhaps or maybe you actively seek it out the important thing is that you are growing and gaining new skills 
during this time. The question that you could ask yourself in this stage is, what am I needing to advance? What am I being challenged by? What can I learn from this? And once we reach a point where we've gained enough skills and grown enough, we may face our death in the adventure, where something significant happens, where what we used to be when we set out on this adventure ceases to be, and we change. We get reborn into something in you. Something in us has changed to adjust ourselves for what we previously were not able to do. And this comes with a revelation this revelation comes to us and we get reborn into someone that has acquired the hero has acquired what he needed to so it's a tough thing to do that's why it's called a death it's a death and rebirth. We don't actually die um, when we're trying to learn something or if we um, are trying to find something out. But in terms of what we were previously comfortable with, we might as well have. We've changed. And now that we have attained this revelation, this new understanding, we have changed ourselves. So, in this point, we can proceed with our gift on the journey back. So over this journey back, We will go back to the world that we are comfortable in so that we can share this gift. We can share the gift in our known world. So we've crossed over the boundary into the unknown world. And then once we have changed and we been reborn to receive the gift that we set out for with the help that we had received through the challenges we face the death we get reborn and we return with our gift to our new known world it's the same world it's the old world that we came from but it's a known world and the main thing that has changed is us. We have become different. We have adjusted to a previously called us for adventure. We have completed the hero's journey. We have changed ourselves. We have improved. And now we are back where we began. This is something that we see in movies, in cartoons, um, where we have a character arc, at least, and it speaks to us so intimately because it is a journey of the self, of, of, of ourselves, trying to become best we can be, and to undertake this journey is not necessarily an easy thing to do, but should we choose
choose to do it, it will always be worth it. If we do not choose to improve at the time, I could be perfectly fine. I know that I definitely have been more than content with just being a little stuck for a while, but what I have found is that eventually I would get sick of still not having done what I had realized was bugging me. So, if you have something on your mind and you have this crazy notion that you might be able to do something about it, I would I would want to say that I would challenge you Only if you're ready to set out into this unknown and through this these trials you will come out on the other end. And you will feel better. So, I hope that you enjoyed this. I will keep this short and sweet. And if you like this, Please leave the video a like, leave me a comment with any thoughts, and subscribe for more. I upload weekly. Thank you. Oh, one last thing. I will leave a link to Joseph Campbell's book that I mentioned, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. It's a very interesting book that covers many different stories. And basically it is, as the title suggests, The Hero's Journey. And it happens with a thousand faces. It gets retold thousand times. It's very interesting if you're interested in different stories and myths, legends, and the meaning behind those, and what it can teach us even in today, today's modern world. They still hold true. So, again, thank you for Good night.